lay in the chair, even if it ends up like not being sun tanning weather, but you just like lay in the chair and you're just like, oh, I just love the warmth of the sun. That's the kind of feeling that you want to start to um, assimilate with yourself, even though you're not feeling well. So. Do you think the COVID virus causes a disconnect or changes your mood? Absolutely. I'm not a COVID expert. I admit that right up front. Um, but I absolutely, um, from my own experiences and from lots of conversations with others. So again, not a clinical trial, no data here. Um, there is a disconnect that happens. I mean, look, when we feel ill in general, right? It just, it, we're just not on our game. We're not as sharp or our intuitions sometimes not as, not as good. Um, for COVID specifically, there does seem to be some kind of a disconnect. Um, we're never disconnected from source ever. We're always, we're always tuned in. It's who we are. Um, but there can be an element of feeling a disconnect, um, and feeling a little bit I guess the word isolated comes to mind. And when I say isolated, I don't mean that you're necessarily alone by yourself or that you're, you know, that you're isolated or quarantined from everyone else. Um, I mean that you feel isolated and that you're not like connecting into the wave of possibility, the wave of um, consciousness. And you're there, you're always there. Um, you're always there. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. Um, you're, you're always there. You're just, feeling that there's like a little bit of a barrier and i don't know scientifically what is actually happening i would guess that there's just a lot happening from a brain chemistry standpoint so if there's any scientists listening in here please um, i'd love to hear your comments in the comment section if you have a specific scientific knowledge of what's happening with the brain in a covid infection or infections in general but i definitely feel like that it's all about just really connecting into the light one of the ways that I found um, to be really helpful whenever I have any kind of illness, but COVID specifically, is if you can, depending upon where you live and how you know the temperature is and what's happening weather-wise, but if you can go outside and sit in the sun, or maybe you're still in your living room, but you're in the rays of the sun and just connect in, close your eyes and connect to that, to that white bright light or that warm yellow glow, um, however you see it and really just take in and ask for healing light and feel connected you know just feel connected to okay look here's another way to say it if you've ever like if you're maybe some of you aren't sun worshipers um but if you've ever gone on vacation like you live somewhere cold or you live somewhere where you just yeah it's not a vacation land and you go to i don't know mexico or bali or you know somewhere and you sit on the beach that first day and you lay in the chair, even if it ends up like not being sun tanning weather, but you just like lay in the chair and you're just like, oh, I just love the warmth of the sun. That's the kind of feeling that you want to start to um, assimilate with yourself, even though you're not feeling well. So when you start to feel into that magic and that connection to the light, that's when you're able to take in more light and it helps build your cells. It helps build um, all of your connections back, gets you back online and sleep just sleep as much as you can, right? A lot of times we're just pushing through, pushing through, trying to get everything done. And and we know, I mean, this is basic stuff that if you don't take the time to rest, it only gets worse or it stays on longer. So if you're dealing with long COVID, um, kind of another addition to this question, I would say that um, outside of, you know, seeking proper medical advice, um, there's lots of homeopathic advice that I think can be even more helpful, um, but rest, connecting to the light and really just taking the time to be down, right? And and to go into reflective and, and maybe it's to journal. You know, a lot of people have said, I, I just can't even get my mind online. Rest, but when your mind is able to be a little bit online, and I don't really mean the true sense of your mind, I mean more like your spirit coming through your mind and your pencil or your pen in your journal, um, when you get to that place where you can feel that um, enough energy to do that, start writing like what's what's my priorities? Like where where might I be a little off in my my time spent each day? Where should I start doing more things? What, what should I stop doing? You know, what do I need to do less of? So take that downtime um, and try to not panic about all the things that aren't getting done because you're 
down. You're down for a reason. It's bigger than you. Hopefully that's helpful. I'm always open to comment suggestions in the comments below. All right, let's go on to the next question. <laughs> 